Hello, I'm Pauline and I'm from Bishop Crawford in Hertfordshire. Hello, I'm Richie and I'm from Harlow in Essex. We are tour makers for the Essex section of the Tour de France. We're both route marshals, we're both on the side of the road making sure that everybody's having a safe uh, and fun experience. And how's it been going so far? Any riots or trouble? No, we are surrounded by absolutely wonderful spectators. They've been very generous with their picnics and um, looking after us and having good fun. We've been dancing and enjoying the caravan so far. They've all been very good natured, they're all behaving themselves and so they were having a good time. Is this your first tour maker? I suppose you were involved with the Olympics. Well, actually, this is the first time that tour makers have been involved with the Tour de France. And yes, tour makers came off the back of how successful the games makers were. And I actually was um, not a games maker. I was a volunteer performer for the closing ceremony of the, ceremony of the Olympics. I was a games maker and I'm also going to be going up to the Commonwealth Games in two weeks' time. And I've also just had to try out to be a, a rugby um, get a volunteer at the Rugby World Cup for next year as well. So you've gone tour maker crazy? Absolutely. It's, it's fun to volunteer. Everyone should have a go at volunteering. It's great fun. You get to and be involved. How would they get into your tour making society? It, well, well, there's lots of... Is there one? Is no, there a, no, I mean... Well, you should launch one, perhaps. We had to... Well, there, we do have Facebook groups, obviously, for people that are tour makers. I mean, this is a one-off exper one experience, which is why we chose to volunteer and we had to apply with a video interview because it's, you know, when are you going to get that opportunity again to have the Tour de France come to Cambridge, Essex and London? We're locals, it's just fantastic. So if you want to get into volunteering, there are many opportunities with Team London, um, Essex Ambassadors, Hertfordshire Ambassadors. There's lots of different ways, lots of different websites. Now tell me this, are you saying there, there isn't a Tour de France in France this year? It's This is it, is it? No, no, there's always, the beginning is always held somewhere else outside of the country, just to generate interest in the, in the start of the Tour de France. This year it's here in, in uh, Yorkshire and Essex and London. It shows you how much homework I've done on this. But yeah. So why don't they do it next year? Or could they say, well, we'll start it in Germany? So. No, each country makes a bid. So that each country makes a bid to host the, the first three days of the, uh, of the tournament. See, we're going to want to host it again, aren't we? Well, we will. I mean, it was in London a few years ago, but the opportunity to actually have it here and to the first time that they've used tour makers, it's, it is a wonderful experience. And you just don't know if it will ever come back to this country again. So you've got to grab these opportunities. Thanks, tour makers. No we set for more business. We're waiting for the peloton to come through now, the actual riders. So, what is um, the peloton? The peloton are the cyclists that are coming through. So. Is it Latin or Greek? Or where? Oh, I don't know, actually. Good no. question. We haven't been taught that. Wikipedia. Ah, yeah, we'll Google it after we come off here. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hello, my name's Terry Butcher from the South End Wheelers Cycling Club. So we're, we're British Cycling Accredited Marshals and we're volunteers who help out at British Cycling Road Races and at strategic junctions that have been previously determined under a risk assessment. We man those junctions and we stop the traffic under the direction of the race commissaire um, momentarily while a race comes safely around the corner and then we let the traffic go again and we're acting under um, uh, powers delegated to us by the local constabulary. Do you anticipate any riots or trouble? I think you only have to look round at the, uh, the tremendous success over the last two days in Yorkshire to see that um, it's been absolutely fantastic. I understand something like two and a half million spectators have seen the event so far and uh, as far as I know um, everybody is joining into a tremendous fest festive spirit and uh, I'm sure Essex will do just as well.